Okay guys, if you played in the mirror or many other top lane champions, I'm sure you have struggled against Warwick. And I have too, but now Warwick is way more consistent for me as a matchup and that's why I'm posting this video. It's actually kind of a stomp and you can actually just watch the early game. I don't really care about watch time, I care about teaching you guys things. So the video is kind of self-explanatory. I'm explaining everything on the spot. Regarding the matchup, how to beat Warwick can actually snowball against him. Hope you'll enjoy it. I will see you at the end of it. Much love. Okay, guys, explaining everything again. Let's go. So we're facing Warwick, kind of an impossible matchup on paper, but there are ways to beat Warwick. We'll talk about it later. Let's look at bot lane. Nila Senna, Giga Scaling, pretty safe. I mean, not that safe, actually, especially into Nautilus Jin. Play bots already, Briar. I don't give a shit about anything else. You just play bots. Uh, way into Syndra, both are scaling, both are gonna range, uh, both apply CC and can follow up on plays. So Jarvan can gank. Uh, way pretty easily. I believe that Briar can gank on Syndra kinda easily. Depends if she's pushed in or not. Uh, but still, I don't give a shit. Briar, play bot, play bot, play bot. That's, that's the idea. You don't want their bot lane to scale. And and you want our bot lane to snowball. Especially because Jin Nautilus... I mean, Jin is really good into squishies. Nila squishy. Senna squishy. Syndra squishy. Draven kind of. And then Warwick, don't worry, I'll take care of Warwick. So, I'm going D shield. Um, let's see, Briar into Draven. Also, who wins the, like, if they meet, who wins the skirmishes? I feel like it's it's Briar oriented. But. Welcome but, but, but. Um, Draven will have probably more gang pressure. Yeah, Warwick could actually invade on blue buff and look to kill us both. I think we have a chance actually at beating him. But yeah, it's actually one of the uh, these champs. Exhaust the right person. And if he comes at the right time, when Briar already lost HP to the buff. He can do big damage. What's under not this helmet? Okay, so against Warwick, you actually refuse to play, basically. You don't want to play. You don't want to trade him because it doesn't make sense. Uh, if you don't kill him, you're just going to sustain back up. Uh, you don't want to all in because you lose them. You don't want to short trade because you lose them. Plus he has grass, so you're giving him free grass procs. You want to farm. That's it. Farm up, skate up. And then at some point you buy uh, what it's called executioners whenever you can, and you punish Warwick player's madness. Just need to be more patient than him. Okay, this like trade, like, the whole point of it was just to actually make the wave push faster to me, because this way my minions actually focused him. Need to be careful, yeah. Like here, for example, I don't want to use my E because if I use my E and he presses a long Q, he's actually going to follow me. And take a big trade. So actually, I'm pretty happy with the state of the wave. Okay. Well, if I have not too much to think about in my lane, I need to think about the rest of the game. So we just saw that Draven took... Uh, raptors, so it's probably doing classic top to bot, which would make sense because if he looked at uh, loading screen the way I did, he knows that my barrier wants to play bot and he wants to match this. I guess he was not there on time. This is going really well, actually. Yeah, he's gonna take a third shot, doesn't matter too much. So you wanna play for your jungler. 
because Warwick is going to perma push, so there is going to be gank opportunities. Yeah, that was not a good idea. Boom, boom, boom. But you don't want it to be a 2v2 because you most likely lose that. Still don't see Trav and there is actually a pretty big chance that he went in our jungle. Okay, he didn't yet. Okay. Pretty good getting in for Traven. Now again, it's tempting to ping Briar to come. But there is actually a pretty big chance that he just 1v2s us. And we don't want that to happen. If he goes for a demolish proc, then we can punish. Nice. So as I said, you're playing for your jungler. Because he's gonna probably push in. And until then, you refuse to play. Actually refuse. Be like, no. Me, no want to play. Okay, I'm just gonna drop a ward on Grubs. Oh shit. I'm just gonna wait him here. Because if I dash in, he's just gonna dash out. That may be a bit too much. Warwick is losing a lot. This wave is pushing to me. He lost cannon XP already and he's gonna lose more. As I said, what you wanna buy is this. Then tier 1 boots because I'm coming back to lane. And I'm gonna go for a dagger. Yeah. Warwick lost plenty here of XP. And Traven flashed. And we gave a lot of space. My bot lane. Nice. Ah, oh, that was not the best uh, CC rotation. It works. Okay, he might look to base. But I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna walk... Yeah, I'm trying to walk past him. So if he fears me, he actually fears me towards his turret. And if he, if he ults me... Like you could say, we, we didn't he ult you. Like you didn't ult play, it's just bad. Like if he ults me early, I'm killing him because like it's too early and I'm still under my ult, so I need to time his ult. So he kills me like at the very end of main. And if he doesn't ult me, well it, it depends to have the damage to actually like kill him. Shit. Already back there. Okay, he could have actually ulted here. Could have actually died, maybe. Hopefully he doesn't cancel. Now because STMX is gonna push fast, I'm actually gonna buy tier 2 boots. Because I need to come back fast to this lane. Okay, and that's how you win the Warwick matchup. Patience, patience, patience. 
And then if you get ahead, it's very snowbally. Like very, very snowbally. He has R, but he doesn't have exhaust. And that's another part of the Warwick matchup. As I said, play of Warwick player's madness. Like, why did he not just like push his way with Tiamat? Like, why do you buy Tiamat to start roaming on the map? And looking for a kill on Hui who has like mid HP or something. Okay. Yeah, we don't have very old. Oh, I, should, I could have probably played that better. Ooh. I could have probably done more. But I don't think that Briar played that well as well, like pushing Warwick out. I don't think that was the play. Um, I think the play was just like to jump on... Ah, oh, but can she control who she, who she jumps on? Could she decide to jump on Draven? I'm not sure how Briar works actually. But yeah, I don't think we wanted to go defensive here. It's rather offensive. <coughs> Well, we get four grabs, it's good enough. And actually, gold reset on Warwick. Which is good as well. So I went mid because Wei went top by the way, and well, someone has to catch the mid wave. And he was ready to go top. The wave was in a bad spot. Okay, my team is winning, so I don't need to follow. I'm actually gonna get fed. Mm. Two things I wanna do. Yeah, I wanted to maybe catch him on his way back. I also wanted to get the plating. I guess if Syndra is following, can't really catch him. Uh, it's really good if I keep Syndra out of mid lane. Let's look at what's happening mid. Awesome. Really good. Really nice. Uh, I'm not sure if I straight up beat Warwick, but I'm completely sure that I straight up beat him once I have Kraken, but maybe Kraken isn't a bit too long. Okay, I actually get level 10 from that wave. Let me play off this. Okay, he doesn't have E now. I guess he has you know. I could look to also say in his mana. Running kinda low in mana. 
E. Or Q. Okay, triple on the way. Yeah, there's no more mana. Or what if they're coming straight up? Like the thing is I have a shutdown I don't wanna give it. Yeah, he's the one in a bad situation, I don't have to force it. Exactly, they're coming top. Okay. I'm not sure wh wh why was a Warwick ulted like for so short. Is it because he got like pushed by Breya or something? That was a weird interaction. Um, well, really good. He support zero two and ten. What the fuck? I think a point in E because I'm not gonna use ult before I get level 12, so then I can put the points. Just makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, and let's play long swords. Yeah, Jin. Just go meet Bro. Barro. Oh, he's pretty fed. Yeah, it's, it's looking like a stomp now, but I might still post it for uh, Warwick matchup purposes. Because like that's that's how you deal with Warwick. Always, always, always the same pattern. And then trust me, if you get just like a couple kills, then it's a stat checky matchup. He's a melee champion that needs to be in melee range to deal damage, so if you have more damage... Rampage. All good things will happen. Okay, I was waiting to see if someone comes to trap, and if no one comes, well, I'll just get red buff. So I could look to kill the Warwick, but it's most important, like, if I kill the Warwick, but I let this top wave go past me, I'm not gonna do anything with the kill. Just gonna be a kill, you know. Now, if I can bring the wave first, and then look to kill him, I can threaten to take T2, which is well, way more pressure. Sindra just pushing, we can ignore her, actually. Okay, well, uh, that's actually a good thing. It's gonna make, it's gonna give us a closer game. Um, so you could look back at it and be like, oh, I should have been there because, well, they died. And if I was there, well, they wouldn't have died. And I don't think that's the right spirit, you know. I could have been maybe that Warwick was not there. But if they stay forever and die, like, that's not me killing them, you know. Sometimes it's gonna be right that well, you should have went somewhere and you didn't but it shouldn't be based on the result of the play it should be based on just like the the thought process like here if they just play safer we get t2 for free and they don't die so it's just like straight up winning
Oopsie doopsie. Yeah, I, I probably stayed a bit too long on Nila while she, while she was uh, invulnerable. And also, he still had exhaust. I mean, yeah, just just take this. I have Navori now. I thought he would have nothing after that play. Yeah, it's my bad. I should just front to back with my team. Like, it's not because the day that we're not Turbo Giga Super Feds. <laughs> Especially once we're gonna get three items on the way. Well, shit's happening. Shit's on fire, yo. It was a bad idea because Traven is coming. Stead. Why do you ping her back? And scare her with DP. I mean, me pushing bot actually helps for Nash if they want to take it. Because now Nila is bot and Warwick mid come bot. But I will make sure that Nila is here and then and then move. And I would be there first. Just keeping my fury up plus getting me prio. As I said, like, I mean, it was kind of more of a dive than a front to back, but I need to walk back to my team because then you have Wei playing the damage. So that's what I failed to do on the last fight. Yeah, I know that Syndra was somewhere around here. That kills me. Well, at least they have nothing to steal this. It's true that we have a really slow Nash, actually. Uh, I will have the perfect goal for it, so it's not usually the third item that you want. But you also want to spike as hard as possible as Trent. So I'm gonna spike with this. Let's see, let's see. Actually, Jarvan is on two items and... I mean, oh, okay, she's building like two items at the same time. Okay, Briar is actually pretty fit. Maybe this Giga fit. Go bot, yup. I just think he should like walk this way and just like drop a spell um, on this wave so it actually pushes to them. So I could get golems here, but I'm not taking them because my team is already in a position to pressure and I want to match this pressure fast, quick. Nice. Same here, I could take camps, but that's not, that's not the moment. I would take camps on my way back, not on my way up. And this way, when they're applying pressure, well, I'm applying pressure as well.
Okay, let's not all die to Warwick. I'll just put myself in a position where he cannot... I mean... I mean, he cannot go 1v5. Nice, okay. Well, it took a bit long to finish the game, but I'm still gonna post it because it was a really good example of... A four-week matchup and also kind of how to close game. Okay, guys. Well, if you watched it to that point, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching it. Uh, if you like the content, feel free to drop a like, a comment, or subscribe if you haven't already. Next video is going to be tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Good luck and have fun in-game and in real life. And I will see you next time. Peace, guys. Much love. Bye-bye. <laughs>